Seen here, coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out this 2021 Nissan Frontier. So this truck has been around since 2005 in its current state, and it has been seeing better days. Um, today we're gonna to be checking out this 4x4 V6 2021. Uh, talking about the Frontier, it's actually coming up with a redesign in 2022, and the reason I'm reviewing this one is because it's a great value. $35,600 for a 4x4 truck that can tow around 6,500 pounds. Um, and is four doors and can fit your family. So with that said, let's get into the video. Starting out with the exterior of the Frontier, um, coming out with 2005, it has 2005 design. We've got halogen headlights, halogen turn signals. Um, we've got a pretty basic Nissan grill, no radar cruise control or anything on this, halogen fog lights, a um, little bit of an air dam. There is a tow hook on the passenger side over there. And this is not the Pro 4X, so this isn't like the off-roady version, this is just a four-wheel drive version. Um, we do have plastic wheel well liners, which is nice for cleaning. Looking at our wheels, we do have 18-inch alloys on here, looking pretty great. Um, obviously disc brakes up front, decent sized rotors on here. Does have a nice box frame underneath. Coming down the side of the, bar, the car, you can see we've got a line at the bottom of the door, um, rounded off windows, pretty basic. Uh, looking at our fuel fill, not capitalist, but like I said, 2005 design. Uh, looking underneath the back, we've got leaf springs um, with a full size spare, same wheels as we had up front. And these tires, you know, these, these are street tires. These are not off-road tires. Uh, I'm looking underneath the vehicle. You can see we've got a solid rear axle. Um, there's our full-size spare. Do have a class five hitch on this one. Actually, this might be a class four. Um, body colored bumper, which is actually newer. Um, on the previous Frontiers, they didn't do that. Looking at our rear tail lights, uh, incandescent, incandescent um, with reflectors. Uh, looking at our tailgate, not damped. Kind of just drops, it's kind of heavy. Uh, it does have a spray and bed liner and a tailgate uh, kind of plastic mat to protect that tailgate. And it does come with this swing out extender. So while this is a five foot and a half or five and a half foot bed, you've got this extension that can extend it up to a foot. So you're looking at six and a half of actual usable length um, should you need to put something long in here like a canoe or a kayak or something like that. Flipping that inside. Um, Every Nissan truck is actually coming with these like utility track rails inside the bed, um, which is really nice because you can slide different attachments around. You can put a toolbox in here, you can slide it forward, slide it back, uh, makes it a lot easier. Looking at our wheel wells in depth, you can see they don't come in too far. Um, they don't protrude into the bed too much. And looking at our reach in on the side, I'm not a big dude and I can touch the bottom very easily. So that's nice if you're throwing buckets or whatever back there and you want to pull them out. So that's the, uh, Overall outside, we do have cargo lamps up top, um, exhaust pipe on the passenger side. Uh, talking about our powertrain, you've got a 3.8 liter V6, which is new as of 2020, uh, makes 310 horsepower, uh, 280 some pound foot of torque, um, giving you pretty decent fuel mileage. Comes with a nine speed auto now, where in the past it only had a six speed, so they added three more gears, gave it more horsepower, made it a little bit more reliable, a little bit more efficient. Um, with that said, let's uh, step inside the rear seats see what we got going on back here so checking out our door opening you can see it's a pretty squared off opening vertical lines on each side um, looking at our door panel it's pretty basic we've got plastic uh, soft touch rubbery plastic at the elbow but the rest is pretty hard plastic all the way down with storage down below and here's your window controls uh, looking at our rear seats we've got cloth seats in this one this one's the SV it's just above the S which is the base model um, let's uh, lift up these rear seats and see what type of storage we got going on. So we do have a little storage bin right here, um, which, you know, is decent. You can throw some tools in there, throw a drill or whatever. And then looking at the back, you can fold the seat down as well. Um, obviously the headrest has to come off, but you can fold it down. And there's a little bit of storage back here, so if you wanted to, you could put something back there. Um, on the passenger side is your jack and, uh, you know, a wrench for getting it that up or getting the truck off the ground if you need to change the tire. So stepping inside, you can see knee room, um, not bad for this size truck, but also not great. Um, headroom, we've got some, not a lot. If you were over six foot, it definitely wouldn't be comfortable back here. Um, looking at our dash, you can see, like I said, this truck was made in 2005. So 
I mean, this, this is a 2021 brand new truck that you can buy on the lot. But in terms of design, this is 2005 design. I mean, the only thing they've updated is that screen, the transmission, and the engine. Um, and that's, that's really it. But overall, this is a great truck to have, especially for the price point. Let's climb up front here, see what we can get going. So looking at the front door, you can see we've got plastic, same as we did on the rear doors. We've also got our power locks and power mirrors. Let's slide on over to the driver's door and see what we have going on over there. So same thing as we had on the passenger side, except now we had, had the addition of the window lockout. Um, same plastic door that we saw. Um, this is our hill descent control and our power mirrors, as well as our cargo lamp light. Here, let me shut this so we don't have all that extra noise. So looking at our gauge cluster, um, engine temperature, tack, speedometer, and fuel readout, all right there. Um, on the right hand side we've got our wipers, and on the left hand side is our lights and turn signals. Looking at our steering wheel you can see our audio controls um, for our radio, as well as our seek and track, and on the passenger side is our cruise control. Pretty basic plastic urethane wrapped steering wheel, nothing fancy. We do have the push button intelligent key. Um, that's found in 98% of Nissans, which is nice, um, with our 9-speed automatic shifter. Here is our 2-speed transfer case select knob with our heated front seats, which is actually really nice to have on the SV. And then our center screen that we do have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. We also have dual zone automatic climate, so you set the temperature, driver, passenger, and leave it. It'll go to the right temperature, as well as our fan speed, and you can change it up if you'd like. Um, we also have connectivity on the passenger side, USB, aux, as well as 12 volt, and then a little bit of storage bay here. Two cup holders here, center console. Um, you can see we've got little dividers and storage as well as a plug in here. And it's a pretty deep center console. Um, and there's actually inserts in here that you can pull it out if you wanted to put like a big gulp or something bigger. And I forgot to mention this when we were in the rear, but I'll mention it now. We actually do have um, two cup holders back here. So you can see that. We'll just fold that back up for the dealership. We go so looking over on our passenger side of the dash we've actually got dual glove box here little area up top area down below um, looking up top we've got our sunglass holder our lights and then this is just kind of a faux switch it's where our uh, microphone is for our bluetooth looking up here no light it does flip out it does slide for nice coverage so you're not going to get blinded in here which is nice and you do have an automatic dimming um, light, which we have a little power button for. Let's check out that 3.8 liter V6, and then we're gonna talk about why you would wanna buy this vehicle in 2021. I mean, it's so dated, it's, you know, not super safe. I mean, it's it's got enough safety for you not to worry about it, but. So underneath this really heavy steel hood, we've got our 3.8 liter V6, battery, coolant, windshield washer fluid, and brake fluid. Well, not brake fluid, um, power steering fluid all on the left there. Sorry, cars don't have power steering fluid very often anymore, so I kind of forgot. Um, air intake over here on the path or the driver's side, along with our oil dipstick and our brake fluid. So, yeah, that's our engine bay in this one. What I'm interested to see is if we have a transmission dipstick. So, I don't see a transmission dipstick anywhere, so I'm interested to see how that transmission gonna get checked on over time so let's talk about it this one's $35,000 um, you could get an equally equipped Ranger for around uh, $38,000 $40,000 um, is this thing worth the $3,000 cheaper well that depends um, do you enjoy the, the basics do you enjoy you know those simple seats those simple interiors the easy to clean out interior um, the super rugged bed the old body on frame you know design that this thing has going for it if the answer is yes then you're gonna love this vehicle you're gonna love every inch of it you're gonna love owning it if you're somebody who's really into the newest technology really cares a lot about having the newest safety tech really wants led headlights really wants super off-road ability this specific truck wouldn't be the one for you now luckily for about three thousand dollars more you can get the pro 4x you can get leather on it you can get well this one has heated seats but heated seats on that one and when you get the pro 4x you get more off-road tires softer suspension and a rear locker, which makes it a really, really capable off-road truck. 
and you're not even spending $40,000. With dealer incentives, you can get a lot of these Pro 4X trucks, about 35 out the door. So, is the Nissan still worth it in 2022, uh, coming into this next year? There's gonna be a lot of these sitting on lots, especially once the new ones hit. Nobody's gonna wanna buy the old one unless it's for that value. So, it's gonna be interesting to see um, whether or not these trucks sell off the lot at full price or if they have to discount them to get them off. Um, that's that's still to be seen. Uh, we're expecting the 2022 Frontier uh, in a couple months here. Hopefully by the end of the summer we'll have a few to film. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get that content to you. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are enjoying the channel, um, leave a like, leave a subscribe. If you guys want to support the channel, we're here in Crown Nissan Greenville today. Um, huge thanks to them for letting us come out here and film their vehicles. And they've been awesome to work with. If you guys uh, want to buy a vehicle from them, let them know that we sent you here at the car scene, that we inspired you, because it really helps build that relationship with them. Like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.